Right, what happens to an overdrawn director's loan account in a liquidation scenario? Okay, there are thousands and thousands of directors who are waking up to this problem um, right now. Serious, um, it's a serious problem for lots of directors with some quite serious consequences. So today I'm going to explain what is a director's loan. Um, I'm going to try and help you find out if you have one. And if you have one and you're going to go into liquidation, what is it you're going to do about it? Okay, so what's a director's loan? Well, quite simply, it's a list of transactions that's made between the director and the company or the company and the director. So if you imagine um, a director starts a company and he, he puts, I don't know, five, ten, fifty thousand pounds into that company, it's a credit against his director's loan. OK, now, most directors, what they do, um, they will take the minimum amount of salary, you know, eight hundred thousand pound a month through the PAYE scheme. And the rest of uh, the year, they will take drawing. So, listen, for ease, ease of reckoning, you're on a £1,000 a month pay-as-you-earn salary and you take £3,000 a month additional um, to top your wage up. So, you're on four grand a month, okay? Well, the £1,000 pay-as-you-earn goes through the PAYE scheme. The £3,000 a month that you take as drawings is on your director's loan account. And then once a year, you'll go to your accountants, you'll give him your books, you'll give him your records, and your accountant will do the books. He will declare a dividend, and hopefully you've made enough profit that your dividend uh, wipes out your director's loan account. Now, that's not always the case. Sometimes people spend too much money. They've not made enough profits for what they've taken out. And then you could have something called an overdrawn loan account. Now, lots of people have overdrawn loan accounts. It only really becomes a problem when that overdrawn loan account is over £10,000 because you're going to be charged something called S455 tax, which is charged at 32.5%. So it's a bloody expensive loan. Where it becomes a real problem is when you a director is going to place a company into a liquidation scenario. Because that overdrawn loan account sits on the balance sheet of the company and it's a company asset. And any insolvency practitioner in the UK, they're duty bound to recover that director's loan account so they can give some money to creditors. A lot of people aren't aware of this. So, you're probably asking, well, how do I know if I've got a director's loan account? Right, one place you can check is your last set of accounts. So, go on to your last set of accounts. Your accountant will have definitely emailed them, yeah, and go through your accounts. And it, it'll probably be sat on the balance sheet as an asset. It'll say director's loan account, director's current account. And you can check what the figure is there. You can also ask your accountant. They should be able to help you. Now, if your accounts are a little bit out of date, you might need to do a little bit more digging. Um, COVID has really, really, really highlighted this problem. Because what happened when COVID um, kicked off is people, their incomes disappeared overnight. They couldn't survive on furlough. And rightly or wrongly, they used some of the bounce back loan to top up their drawings. So let's just run through that example I just spoke about. You know, the person who's on four grand a month. Listen, it, it's a re, you know, it's not excessive anywhere in the country. And what they did is they have a thousand pound a month through the pay as you earn scheme. The world collapsed at the end of March 2020. And what they did is they, they used their bounce back loan. What they thought in their head was their dividends. You can't really use a bounce back loan for dividends. That's problem one. And what they've done is they've, they've took a thousand pound a month through the salary scheme and they've took three grand a month of the bounce back loan. 
And that year, they didn't make any profit. They literally treaded water. They've gone to their accountants. They've gone, hello, Mr. or Mrs. Accountant here with my books and records. And the accountants come back and go, you've got a problem here. You've got about, you've been taking three grand a month. I'm going to do the, the calculation on this. I'm sorry, I should have uh, should have had these figures ready. I thought it was three to six grand. I always wanted to check when I'm doing a YouTube video. And they've gone, Chris, you've got a 36 grand overdrawn director's loan account. And I go, oh my God, I've got a 36 grand overdrawn director's loan account. How has that happened? And it's happened because I've taken money out of the company when we've not made any profits. Anything that I take out of the company that isn't on the pay-as-you-earn scheme potentially can be turned into an overdrawn director's loan account, okay? Now, I've done quite a few videos on these. This is my most up-to-date one. But if you're, you're looking at this video and you are worried about overdrawn director's loan accounts, get in touch with me. And I'll help you understand ha if you have one. Now, let's talk about potential solutions. Because if you've got an overdrawn director's loan account, you're going to be pursued for them. And I believe that insolvency is stressful enough. One thing we do at First Business Rescue is we let you know your problems on day one. And we hope, hopefully um, help you to overcome these problems before you make the decision now, if there's an overdrawn loan account an insolvency practitioner is going to come and ask for it back but there's always the ability to do some type of negotiation and that might be that you pay it back over a longer period of time um, or in some cases you can you can negotiate a reduced settlement L let me give you a bit of an example it's like a sliding scale so if you've got an overdrawn loan account and you've got a hundred grand in your personal account and you've got oodles of equity in your family home, hundreds of thousands, well, you're going to be paying most of that director's loan account back. You're probably going to be able to get some payment terms. And equally, if you're living in rented accommodation and you're on universal credit, an insolvency practitioner, it's not in the creditor's interests to pursue you through courts. It's going, to co it's going to cost more than you owe, probably, with with little hope of recovery. So in that case, it could get written off. And that's the, that, that, that's the sliding scale here. So to help understand your position a little bit more, because everybody's different, okay? It's important you take early advice. Um, and if, if you are... Listen, there are some fantastic insolvency companies out there. But for those that don't speak, one bit of advice I want to give you. Have this conversation about director's loan accounts up front. If somebody ever says to you, oh, we'll deal with that later on. Um, no, no, no. Don't make a decision until you've discussed your director's loan account. You understand what it is and you understand how it's going to be dealt with once you go into liquidation. I hope you found this video really helpful. Have a wonderful day and I should catch you soon. Bye bye.